Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2003 for race 30, 36, season 2 of the crew. We're going to Talladega today. Last race was at Kansas, and we actually managed to get 16th. I know that sounds crazy, but it was not a, an abysmal race. Now, Talladega, I'm very confident that we'll probably get a win. I'm just throwing it out there. Not, I don't want people to be shocked, or I'm going to be like, oh, can I possibly win? No, it's just, it's going to happen, probably. So, I was thinking about this off camera, and... It just, it just dawned on me. Like, I had an epiphany. I could, right now, look and change my damn engine and chassis builders and all this stuff, and it should be freaking better than what it is right now. So, let's go to builders. Um, fabricator, I think we could change. And we'll go to openings. And look at this. And there we go. We got a better one for a rating of 78. We're going to go with him. And then look at builders here. Again, I don't think we can change the engine builder because he's in the middle of building something. So, yeah, obviously he can't. But uh, the fabricator and maybe chassis builder? So we got us. Did I just fire the same guy I had? Am I stupid? Yeah, I am. We're going to hire him again. Just LOL JK. You're hired, you're fired, then you're back again. Um, but let's see. Chassis builder, 71. We'll release him. And then we'll put in a better one. And that should be a much better, yeah, car, uh, car rating. Overall, one is 76. So this may seem like a small little upgrade, but this is still going to be a big help. So we got the fabricator, we got the chassis builder. And that should be it for now. After this race, we'll mess with the uh, the engine builder and release him and put in somebody new. But yeah, with this, a better overall rated for all this stuff, this will make our cars much better. So I'm really excited about that. I'm glad I kind of thought about it. It took me this long. I think it took me this long in Season 1 to change the pickers. So, I don't know. But, um, where, what am I talking about? Uh, team management. This is where we're going with. Car rating is 69. Um, condition is not the best, but the chassis and everything is still pretty good. So, that's what we're going with. Uh, let me just double check the chassis here. So, this is, uh, make sure it's this is the weaker one. Inventory. Uh, we'll probably go with number 11. Is that what's even in there right now? I don't... I don't freaking know. I don't know. Let's just freaking change the one we have. Because I don't even know if it's... Uh... Okay, yeah, it's chassis 11. So That's perfect. Alright, so... Anyways, without further ado and all this sort of meandering around, let's just uh, get straight into the uh, car setup and then into qualifying. Here's the car setup for the race. Really didn't change anything too drastically from what we've had before. So... Um, yeah, this should be pretty good. I'm really looking forward to this race. I just would like to get that win and get my ego back up. But let's just get qualifying underway and probably start on the pole. Off turn four. The first lap is a 50.0. Oh, we'll see what this is when we cross the line. The car um, is kind of scary how fast it is even in qualifying. But we're going to come across the line with a 48.6. About a tenth and a half faster than the first lap. And we get pulled. What? what? I'm not shocked. <laughs> I'm not shocked at all. Me and Sterling Marlon stood up in the front row. Let's get this race at Talladega underway. Three, two, one. Green flags out. We got 18 laps of this. We're probably going to get our traditionally like bad restart like we always do with these restrictor play tracks. And we'll just see what well, we'll go from there. So sorry to everybody on the inside line. I'm just going to just hold everybody up. <laughs> oh, God. But I don't know. I'm just really curious to see how this race will play out because I know the car is fast but I don't know if how quick we're gonna get to the front is the question that's the thing that's the, that's the thing I am just unsure about looks like Sterling Marlin will be able to lead the first lap as already already I can already tell this car is speed because we just powered by like two people like nothing and we weren't even in a draft of anybody so ooh, ooh this is gonna be good so we're gonna complete almost the first lap block, Bill Elliott. There, yeah, Marlon's definitely gonna lead the first lap, but we're right there at his nearly his back bumper. Just get to the inside of him, and there we go. We get the leak. We clear Marlon. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, finally made the pass. Now it's just gonna be a blocking game for another seven laps until we pit. I think too much has happened up at the front. I'm still leading. Um, it's just been blocking the, the there's been uh, so many lead changes for second place it's just insane it seems like every lap somebody else is trying to pass me and i think everybody in this little group here of waltrip rudd harvick elliott and marlin have all taken their crack at me and 
Launch Troop's gonna get to my outside, but we kind of... I don't know what that was, but we, we pulled them off somehow, so... Yeah, that was the first thing that happened in quite some time, so... I'm happy with that. Pin down period this time by 70 miles an hour. Um, oh god, Elliot! Um, nothing really too much has happened, um, but... I don't know. I don't know how in the world Ellie was able to get down there so fast. Two tires, like the strategy I always pull off here, so... Yeah, that's really about it, and we'll be, uh, out of the way hopefully quick. Eleven point one for a ten point two SMA time stop. So like that's a uh, ooh pit crew. That kind of sucked. Thankfully, it was only two stops, but ooh, can't have that anywhere else because that was that was kind of crap. We have more people down pit road and exiting pit road, and we should cycle out into uh, you know virtual P one when this is all said and done. And we have Rusty Walls, Bobby Labonte, I guess, up ahead of me here. But there's a lot of tire screeches there, so I don't know what in the world happened. There must have been a near wreck, which I'm surprised there's no caution that came out for that. Because it, looking at that, it looked like a caution would have to come out, but it didn't. Got more people leaving Pit Road. We get by Rudd and Marlin, and we, I don't know who else is up ahead of me, but I think this should cycle me back out into the lead when this is all done. Because I think that was all of them that were racing with me in that big pack, so... Alright, more people leaving pit road. This should be the last of all the cycled stops and we have one guy out there <laughs> out there <laughs> I don't god. Why do I have to be dumb? Dumb? Oh my god, no. Stop. My brain it can't. Waltrip is in front of me. And that is for the, the lead. And we'll be able to get by him no problem. Looks like we might be able to uh, dabble in a little bit of lap traffic at some point because there's three cars up in the distance, but as of right now, we got the lead. We're chilling. Um, I, this is gonna be nice. Okay, this is insane. If anybody remembers, like the 2006 uh, Bush Series race at Daytona, like the night race, um, Junior had like such a ridiculous lead and pulled away from so many people, and it, it was just by himself. It felt like for a lot of that race, and I'm kind of that here. Granted, we kind of did it on pit strategy, but we're still kind of holding our own a little bit. Granted, we're in lap traffic, and if that's Amy Hicks. I'm gonna be really depressed. And yes, it is. God damn it. Ugh. Well, this race has no purpose in my uh, my heart anymore, knowing that she's doing terrible. My flag's out for ourselves one more time around. I cannot believe the speed we have in this car. It is just ridiculous. I mean, it's been like that since the, the beginning, even way back in Season 1, but, oh God, it's getting to the point now where this is like NASCAR Heat 2 levels of uh, just disgustingness, but uh, we've just been by ourselves for the second half of this race. I think everybody else behind me is probably getting stuck in lap traffic and having a hard time trying to get around them. But even by ourselves, we're just boom, just blowing by lap down cars, or you know, lead lap cars and everything like nothing. <laughs> like it's uh, it's just insane. But hey, we'll take any one we can get, whether if it's a uh, you know entertaining one or a, a boring one, because wins in this game are so hard to come by. And I'll take any advantage I can if uh, there's a chance to win. Here we go. We're gonna come across the line. We're gonna get our sixth career win and our sixth win of the season in general. So. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good race. And also, before anything happens, Dario Quickie's Davy Quickie time is going to happen right the hell now. About to complete our one lap. And there we go. That was a good race. <laughs> like, oh my god. I can't believe Bill Elliott flew down Piro like that. Like, how in the world? <laughs> oh my god. I, that was, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Is or, I like how most of it. Just, even the highlights are just like, what? What is there to show? What if there's. You're just by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's it really is. Oh my god. <laughs> let's just let's just see our guy celebrate.
Wow. Huh, just noticed that uh, they actually have like an actual like render of the EA Sports trophies, They're, like the generic one. So, I mean, it makes sense because EA Sports 500. But it, it, that, that's nice. I just noticed that. So, and our income's gonna be oh my god, 1.6 million. <laughs> I just saw that. Good God. Um, pff, yeah, we got a six-second win over Walter. Jesus. Um, where did Jared finish? Because Bobby Labonte third. Um. Carol Bonnie eleventh. Uh, we're okay, fourteenth. So, points battle again should be still really interesting. I don't know where Mark Martin finished. Um, normally, Talladega always ruins his championship chances. It seems like so that's nothing new. Eighteenth and third, seventh. So that's freaking wonderful. How many laps did I even lead in this race? I didn't even look. Uh, Twelve. Okay, so Walter led the other five. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's just get out of here. Ooh, baby, next race is Lowe's. I can't wait because that is a track we've always been kind of good at. And now since we have, I guess, a better car than we did before, maybe we'll do better. I don't I don't know, but it's always nice. So, um, actually, before we do anything in the team management st uh, stuff, let's just go to, actually, well, technically, team management is under, the team is under team management, so what am I talking about? But let's go right to the uh, the builders and change out the, the engine one because that thing that, came in and is done so he, he he's free right now but we're just going to destroy his life and his family so we're going to release him and we're going to go to openings and see which one is good to pick from and yeah there is one that's a little bit better so instead of a 71 we have one that's a 75 so we're going to go with this guy and now we have all the stuff we need to have better stuff in the car maybe the, I don't know if the crew chief matters and somebody in the comments can probably let me know but from what I can recall, I think it's just better spotting, which is good. But I, I don't need it personally. So that, that, that would technically be a way of saving money, I guess. So I don't know. But yeah, so we got all that stuff done. So now that we have five million freaking dollars, I just saw that too. Um, we're going to do a lot of spending here. We're going to go to um, engines and repair number seven. This will go to a 72. Do that. 347 for two races. Um, go to chassis. And uh, we'll overhaul, uh, which one? I think number 12 is the weakest, so we're going to go with that overhaul. Wait, what would this be? Okay, that will go up a lot, actually. So let's overhaul that for two races. And now, since we still have even more money, let's build new shit. So engines, we're going to build this 551,000 for uh, three races. And it's going to be a pretty good rated at uh, power and uh, durability and all that. So we're going to do that. Let's throw that in there. Chassis, let's build a freaking brand new one as well. 567,000 for uh, three races and uh, 72, 74, 76, 76. Okay, so very good rated stuff overall. So we're going to do all that now that we have these new guys in. So we just threw in that bunch of stuff and that should make the car better. Let's go to modify because we're going to put in that better thing for uh, Charlotte. Engine, we'll look at, yeah, number eight. We're going to throw that in there. Chassis, uh, number 13. I think that was the same as before. I don't know, but except changes. And this is. This damn near might be the best car we ever had, because it's all like in the 70s. And yes, it is. It's a car rating of 70. All right. So that's a very nice thing to see. So that's easily our highest rated car. And we're going to a track where we're going to do well at, hopefully. So that gives me a lot of hope going into the next race. So, And uh, we're 12th in the standings, 826 back from the leader. Jimmy Johnson is what? 208 points ahead of me so I don't really think I'm going to be able to get like uh, 11th in standings just like I was kind of thinking so 12th might be the best we can do which is fine by me and uh, Jeff Gorin the points leader now still by uh, 32 points over Junior, Jarrett 68 back, Mark Martin 112 so and Tony Stewart 5th 124 so something happened in Talladega then because I didn't think he was that far back so well, realistically speaking we still have like 5 people in the championship chase but it's uh it's going to be interesting to see because it's uh, still nobody's theoretically out. And it keeps fluctuating so much to the top five. I don't know what can happen. So, yeah, anyways, it's really, no, that's about it. I don't really know too much more to go into. And I think my camera battery died again, so we're maxed out. So that's what else is new. But anyways, that's it for this video. Like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below and as well as liking the video because it helps me out a lot in the long run. And also a big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Braden Hill, Scott Browning, and Mark Kolar. Again, I really appreciate you guys donating to my did because it means a hell of a lot to me that you would do that and you are awesome for it. I'll see you all at Lowe's. Can we win? I don't think so. Can we do well? I think so. I think a top 10 is quite possible. But we have a new, we have like the highest rated car we've ever had. 
going into a track that we're normally pretty good at, so I'm I'm happy with that. And we put in the new engine, chassis, and fabricators, and all that sort of stuff. So it should make the cars a lot better from here on out. Well, not exactly like it, as soon as possible. We're like race 34, 35. We'll probably get some of that stuff that's coming in and overhauled and built and all that. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Looking forward to season three now that we that we uh, put that in there. So it should give us better rated cars. So we could potentially start getting more and more top 15s and top 10s from season three onwards maybe i don't know but um yeah that's it thanks for watching i'll see you all later and as always have a good day everyone